Rob here. I've loaded up my processor again and I'm trying to feed VCAM from E2E soft into XSplit, the XSplit broadcaster. I've got a USB camera running which unfortunately you can see top right of your screen and multiple screen captures. We'll see how it goes. Remembering we're looking for cheap and cheerful video graphics fun. We're looking at creating visual art, if you like. Video art. Whatever. Let's give it a go. Uh, you can see on the screen everything I just mentioned except visual jockey. Which uh, I won't touch right now because it might bring down the whole system. But I'll go back to XSplit and just change the view. You can see I've painted on the screen of VCAM and yep, yeah, there you go. A bit of a close up of the uh, VCAM controls and the swirly painting that I've done which on the first VCAM feed looks like this eventually it will appear it promises me that it's coming but the CPU is not complying but we're patient people of course it could have locked up you could be recording nothing at all. Aha! Uh -huh. And back to where we go. Now this is the feed from VCAM and here I press my other VCAM feed, v feed 2, through which I'm getting an unwelcome unregistered message even though the software is registered. But anyway, you can see I've created four separate um, copies if you like and we'll attempt to reposition them which is relatively easy as you can see got there in the end now the fun begins because we go back to VCAM and to the effects and some blur zoom and see what happens. Oh, yes, it's pretty nice. Some fire. And a display wall. very interesting. Now this one's not going live so we'll kill it and we'll add in another instance of O1. It should solve that problem and it does. Well, except for the unregistered tag I don't know why that's happening. It's annoying. Okay, see if we can do some chroma keying.
This could turn out to be momentously exciting or incredibly boring. I think I'm going for the latter. Oh no, it's starting to take some shape. You can see it's uh, actually feeding in upon itself. And uh, the lensing effect is quite interesting actually. drag it around inside big cam back to the display wall blur zoom See what's happening on the other channel. Uh, I'm still carrying the previous picture, which is fine because that will now carry over a bit. I might try one of the other effects, plug in. Flit strips. So there you go. I okay, hope that gives you some idea anyway of what you can do when you combine VCAM Manager with XSplit Broadcaster. Thanks very much. Bye.